So I want to open up with this first story. Rockstar plans to announce uh, much anticipated Grand Theft Auto. Plans to release the trailer for the game in December. So the company is expected to report earnings also on Wednesday. And we'll show you some stuff on that. I do want to hit a couple of tweets right here. This, of course, is one of the posts out there. GTA 6 could introduce a crypto reward system. So if this is true, if we actually have a real life crypto reward system inside GTA, this could shift, be a seismic shift. People have already been uh, integrating NFTs in through the modding process. So that's something that has already been uh, utilized within the game itself. And, and that, I think, also starts to set the tone for maybe what is about to happen. Now, remember, though, that you know this is a headline here uh, going back to May of 2023, talking about why Grand Theft might not necessarily go with cryptocurrencies. A couple of things to highlight here was within it. Look at that growth right there. I mean, that's crazy for a game that old. But anyway, right here, the Rockstar's NFT ban. This was in November of last year. Rockstar updated its website to clarify fan-operated Grand Theft Auto uh, servers could no longer utilize crypto assets, specifically NFTs. Now, the reason that this happened was it was more about IP, meaning players were utilizing IP that wasn't theirs as opposed to fresh NFTs created through the game itself. That was the problem and that was the issue. So they are at least open to this. I think that's one of the things that you have to kind of consider. All right, so just remember that Zynga owned by Take-Two, and this is going to kind of paint out what's happening because there's a lot of moving parts here. Uh, first crypto game by Grand Theft Auto. Uh, their devs achieved 5 million in NFT trading. I think that was a little bit larger if we show some numbers on that in a minute. Uh, and this remarkable success comes amidst a decline in volume in active trades on the NFT market, making Sugartown a beacon of innovation and success. Are we at the bottom in the NFTs? I think you know this is something people have been asking uh, for quite some time, looking at whether you're tracking what's happening over at Yuga Labs or you're looking at some of the other NFT projects that are out there. But I want to go into the a clip here because this is this is something that I think will help start to kind of put this together. This is a clip of the Sugartown gameplay so you can kind of understand how these NFTs were integrated. Listen in. Say less. Let's get this taken. Yes, take my ETH. Perfect. Dude, th this is so clean. It feels so pristine and good. The higher level you reach, the more sugar you get. Oh, we're getting paid out in sugar? What can we buy with this stuff? Games. Is that poker? Is that Zanga poker? Nah, no way. Nah, no sh Okay, maybe like a, like a Mahjong? What's the, how do you say that game? Dude, this website is sick. <gasps> you can move the website around. Oh my goodness. All right, so, I mean, great UX. I think that's the thing that will continue to be a winner here. But remember that when you look at the history of a lot of these game and studio houses, they, I mean, they've been building UX for a long time. They understand the need for it and also the benefit of it. This is also a good example. Zynga hired a VP of blockchain gaming. This is Matt Wolf, who's responsible for integrating NFT into companies' existing games. I want to go over to Matt's uh, video, right? Well, we've got a clip here of Matt talking about Take Two. Listen in. Zynga is, of course, now part of Take Two Interactive, um, you know, $25 billion behemoth. You're also having to navigate the Take Two policies, legal processes. How supportive has Take Two been on this, this journey into Web3? How autonomous can you guys be as a team? We don't have enough time on the podcast for me to go through. Are you there? Yeah, all of the uh, all of the needles we had to thread to bring Sugartown to life. But I will say this. Take Two has a rich history of empowering the companies it combines with, period, um, in gaming, uh, first with Facebook and our Facebook games, and then with Free to Play Mobile, when, by the way, Free to Play Mobile wasn't so popular, as you may recall. Uh, oh, absolutely, we were... because that's exactly right. These shifts can be quite dramatic, uh, slowly at first, and then very quickly, uh, quite soon. He said that uh, you have the patience of a saint, uh, having had to deal with some of these large company um, you know, legal uh, things. An interesting scenario here for sure. All right, here's here's another clip on Matt on how they launched Sugartown. Listen in. Um, how on God's green earth is the game called Sugartown and not Sugarville? I, I know you'd have some words to speak about this. The first two to three months of Sugartown was totally anonymous. We were running it on Twitter and we didn't announce who we were. We were very clandestine about it. And the reason was because I firmly believe, and this is through all my years branding and at Coca-Cola and building, you know, working on billion dollar franchises, that if you can win the hearts and minds of a core, 
um, those 300, those thousand people, those whatever, 25, 10,000 people, they have the strength of millions. And then we, and then we announced ourselves uh, as Zynga and things obviously got larger from there comes this sort of once in a cycle opportunity to have an unfair shot at creating real success with an original IP. Makes total sense and actually explains the Sugartown name. So maybe it's not sacrilegious after all. <laughs> now, what makes this unique and different is the stats, the performance of what Sugartown was able to do in a short period of time. Listen to what he had to say about that. I believe the Aura's Mint was free. Is that that's correct? Yes, that's correct. The floor price is holding at about 0.25 ETH at the time of recording or just under 400 bucks current prices. And I have to say, those numbers are really impressive for a free mint, uh, especially in the current crypto environment. Definitely points to this product being on its path to success. So we're excited about that. They have really blown past our expectations. We've seen um, higher play times than we even forecasted um, over the last you know, 15 hours a day or something like that across three days with our events. So the take rate, the play rate on this stuff is astronomical. Many of our holders have more than one aura. They still spend like tons of time playing, communicating when we're not playing in Discord. There is something here. I mean, I don't think there's been a night as long as I can remember that I didn't actually dream about this this product. And, um, and I, I don't know if I can say this legally, but I would certainly love to um, see the floor, you know, climb to stratospheric levels, which would be an indicator that, you know, people um, highly value the project. And I personally believe the project right now is actually undervalued. But right now, if you look at the analytics on uh, the project, 4,300 in the volume on ETH, and you can kind of see the movement here, pretty impressive considering that ETH has been on the rise here recently. And then if you go over and look at the items, if you guys have never seen, you know, the project that's there, here's the Sugartown Auras right here. So you can kind of get uh, a little bit of an idea of what this project is looking like. Yeah, so there it is, eight, a little over 8 million. So it was a little higher than what the, uh, even the article was talking about. I think it was at 5 million. So point being is big success from a somewhat skunk works project under what we're seeing from a major studio that is now being released, and now we see something starting to line up toward maybe GTA 6. So this is the thing that I think a lot of people have to pay attention to. Now, when you look at the whole framework of how this was done, what they decided to do was use this company called Forte to kind of manage the infrastructure. And Forte, if you go back in and look at their website, and you'll start to see some interesting names down here, just to kind of look along right there, connected to the ecosystem. So there it is, Ethereum, Ripple, and Solana coming in. So what does this mean? Does this mean there is a connection here to what we're seeing around Take Two, a lot of what they're doing from a strategy standpoint? If we do move into the NFT space and blockchain becomes part of these really Web2 style traditional gaming, models. Is this the ecosystem that's going to take us forward? Just go back to that. Connected to the ecosystem right now. ETH, we know. Ripple and Solana. Cosmos even in here on this as well. And also GTA 6 is, uh, is a perfect opportunity to see kind of this or seize this kind of metaverse project. Remember when Mark Zuckerberg changed the name to Meta back in 2021, that was done at a time in which it literally kicked off the we'll call it the altcoins, the metaverse tokens, uh, at the same time in which ETH and Bitcoin were on a fly to 69,000, this could be that uh, inflection point right now where we are seeing a potential scoop off the bottom here. So I think it's a, a pretty interesting thing. One other statement in there with advanced uh, tech, gaming hardware, software, AI, they're going into this kind of this, no telling how far uh, Take Two uh, and GTA 6 will go. Uh, and then their last statement was Take Two may even adopt blockchain and crypto into GTA 6. So that to me is the telling sign. Along with what they've done with Sugartown and lining all of this up, pretty interesting overall. If you look at the stock price of Take Two, this is just the, uh, the daily. Are we setting up for something that could absolutely explode? If Take Two integrates crypto, any type of crypto and or blockchain and NFTs into GTA 6, 
what would that do to the industry? What would that do to gaming? What would that do to the NFT market? Uh, what would it do to their stock? I mean, because this is going to have a pretty big impact, I think, a loss across a lot of things. Just so you understand the framework of all of this and why it's so important, here's a good example. Roblox shares surge after uh, earnings with the idea of virtual currency sales and why they grew 20%. So think about virtual currency sales growing inside Roblox. Remember, all these companies are vying for kind of their own metaverse play. So this makes a lot of sense for Take-Two and especially the fact that they've already went out with a kind of a skunk works project with Sugartown and now they've got GTA 6 to get a red roll with rumors out there. Just saying, there's some things brewing out here, guys, we need to pay attention to for sure. So keep your eye on all of that. I want to final up with a clip on Matt talking about flipping the switch. Listen in. Um, I mean, Zynga used to be and probably still is to this day, very, very good at cross promo, right? Like getting players from one game to another where there might be an affinity. Um, and that is something that no native Web3 developer, i.e. startup, you know, who doesn't have scale yet can do. That's impossible. There is that opportunity, I think, to drive a lot of cross promotion from the portfolio into Sugartown. It's such an unfair advantage um, on the Zynga side. Uh, so hypothetically, it one could be uh, one could be excited that you could flip a switch and invite a whole host of people at at scale into a into a new project. With great power comes great responsibility, <laughs> you know. And timing could be, I don't think it could be better, you know, for what could be happening very soon. So anyway, we're going to get into a lot of this uh, as the bull run approaches, because I do think we're getting close to that. Uh, before I leave, make sure you guys are part of the Diamond Circle. It's one of the best places you guys can go. And by the way, jump over to the Sentiment Index, because this is something that we do. And you can get into our altcoin list and our Web3 tokens. So we have a full lineup of tokens that we track. We do add tokens, especially as the bull run approaches, we'll start to add a lot more tokens to this that breaks down sentiment on all of this stuff. So check it out over there. You just go to paulbarronnetwork.com. You'll find it. If you guys want to catch me out there on X, it's at Paul Barron. We'll catch you next time right here on TechPath.